I'm Thomas. I'm Melissa. And together we're Home on the Hitch. We're doing a collaboration video for Big Truck, Big RV. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, very nice thing you're doing. So we're going to show you around our camper and we're going to show you around our tow vehicle. So let's go. Yeah. All right, guys, welcome back. So we're going to be talking about our tow vehicle. That's going to be a Nissan Titan XD turbo diesel. Uh, Cummins 5.0. It is a SV model 4x4. Gross vehicle weight rating on this truck is 8,990 pounds. Uh, tow rating on the truck is 11,850 pounds with a cargo of 1,850 pounds. As far as upgrades on the truck, we've got a custom exhaust, cold air intake, we've got a tune on the engine, uh, tune on the transmission. So I've got about 90 horsepower over stock. Plenty of power, plenty of torque. Some new tires just last week. These are Patriot Rugged Terrains. Uh, they are beautiful tires, ride great. <clears throat> I love the way they look. Just a good looking truck. Love the color, love everything about it. Rides solid, it's quiet. Got the Craftsman Toolbox in the back. Pop that open. Vi-Air compressor with a three gallon tank. Tools in there as well. The air lines run down. To the back there's an air chuck back there and then just in front of the driver here there is, on the underneath side of the truck there is a train horn and that's the please don't pull out in front of me horn all right if we come over this way next thing going in is going to be a bed slide in here i am looking forward to that so that's going to come in pretty handy uh on this side when you look back here is a, a 45 gallon transfer tank uh, that is a gravity feed into the main tank. It's got a on-off valve on the other side, rollover valves and safety valves. We usually uh, use this if we're going to be somewhere where we might be in between fuel stations. That's going to be our tow vehicle, uh, our Nissan Titan XD turbo diesel, and we do love it. All right, guys, next up is our 323 RLS from Open Range. Uh, wide body travel trailer. It's about 10 inches wider than a standard travel trailer. Uh, let's walk up here. Uh, cargo of 2330 and an unloaded vehicle weight of 9,025 pounds. Small pass through or non pass through right here and under the bed storage right there. The slide walls are laminated, which is not super common. Uh, they're made the same exact way that the sidewalls of the camper are made and we have pass through we have windows on each side uh, of the bedroom slide so you can get some cross ventilation going you get a breeze going through there if you need it so so we got power stabilizer jacks on each corner uh, with b l lock arms makes it extremely stable like that and uh, keeps the camper from moving around a bunch uh, we move on down you're going to see the uh, back of the water heater here this is where our fresh water connections are at, uh, black tank flush, the fresh tank, the city water connection, as well as cable and satellite. They're all in there. That's an insulated compartment. Uh, so it protects all the ends of those connections from freezing. So we've got two gray tanks on this unit, uh, 44 gallons a piece, one black tank, 35 gallons, and the fresh water tank is 50 gallons. Uh, and one outlet for the sewer here. It doesn't come with this valve on it. It just comes with a cap. Uh, I put this valve on so I got like one more uh, piece of uh, hardware there to uh, keep any accidents from happening when I'm trying to hook the sewer hose up. So great peace of mind with that. That's the back of the access for the refrigerator. Over here, we've got our shoreline connection uh, for our 50 amp. Above that is a 20 amp shoreline plug that I put in and I'll show you what that's for when we get inside. Uh, but there's a huge window in the back. So like if you're backed up somewhere that's uh, got a great view, it's awesome to take, you know, you open up the curtains and take the reflect X out and, and it's beautiful inside. All right, so moving on down, we've got a hitch. I've got a hitch welded to the frame of the travel trailer, not the bumper. Uh, but the actual frame of the travel trailer. It's got a 3,500 pound tow rating and a 350 pound tongue weight rating on that hitch. Uh, the carrier itself is welded into that hitch. 
Uh, inside of that black box is our champion inverter generator. And on top of that is a six gallon boat tank. So, uh, you can get about 48 hours worth of runtime off the generator. So uh, on this side, you've got the super slide that holds the uh, kitchen table and the reclining chairs. Uh, it's a 36 inch uh, deep slide and full height. So you can, you can stand up in there. Uh, again, all the slides have laminated sidewalls. All right, so we got our US map here. We did this out west trip uh, in March, had a really good time. September coming up, we're going up the east coast. Uh, so make sure that you're checking us out for that. Uh, 30 pound propane tanks. Uh, my favorite upgrade is the Pro Pride 3P hitch. Completely eliminates sway, actually prevents it from ever becoming an issue. Uh, do, we've got a video on this on our YouTube channel, so make sure you check that out, Home on the Hitch. So the 3P hitch is an expensive upgrade, but it is an upgrade well worth the money for the peace of mind and the safety in my book. It is rated at 14,000 pounds and a 1,400 pound ton weight. So uh, Camper has a PVC roof membrane instead of a rubber roof membrane. Super easy to clean. We just uh, brush it off with like a gentle car wash or a Murphy's oil soap. And when you clean it, it looks like it's brand new. I guess one of your biggest concerns when you're loading up your travel trailer is, is your tongue weight. I really, really, really like to keep it at about a 10 to 11% um, tongue weight. That used to be more of an issue than it is now. It now it's a whole lot easier for me to adjust the tongue weight because I use a haul gauge. If you don't know what a haul gauge is, I know Big Truck Big RV has a video on it, so you should really look that up on his channel. Maybe he can link to it. but. It plugs into your OBD2 port on your truck, and once you calibrate it, it's as accurate as a CAT scale. It uses the torque converter and the engine's computer to calculate how much it's pulling, uh, the angle of the truck. The You can even set up weight distribution um, on it, like spot on. So once we get the truck hooked up and everything set up correctly with the weight distribution, then we, can, we load up the travel trailer and I can look at the app on my phone and tell if we're too heavy in the front or back of the camper. All right, let's get into tires. Uh, so these are the original tires that came on the camper. We've got about nine, almost 10,000 miles on these tires. They are Westlake. Um, so we're not gonna really push these uh, any farther. They seem to have worn very evenly and, and uh, on all four tires. Um, of course, I keep them inflated uh, every chance I get to check the pressure I do. Uh, but I've got uh, four new Goodyear Endurance tires that just showed up yesterday. So we're gonna get those put on. We've got the Equiflex uh, suspension on here. Uh, the reason I haven't upgraded that yet is because I hope to upgrade to an axleless suspension, uh, the Timberland system. All right guys, so really looking forward to getting those tires changed, but let's go ahead and go inside and take a look around. Oh, hi, welcome to our camper. All right. Let's go on a tour and we'll show you everything that we love. One of the upgrades that we have in our kitchen is this UV sterilizer. Um, it, that we use in addition to our water filtration system so that we can have clean water wherever we go. We also have a residential fridge, which is great. It can hold all of our goodies because we do love to eat. We also have upgraded to include this socket down here, which Thomas has added so that I can run my Instapot or my hair dryer while we're running our air conditioner. One thing that is great about this open range is that we have tons of storage space. We have cabinets along the kitchen. We have this, where there's a large storage space behind the TV. There's storage space below the TV. Then we have this amazing fireplace, which we love. Um, we have tons of storage over the couches. This couch makes out into a queen size bed um, but our girls don't really like that, so they prefer to put a queen-size mattress that fits perfectly in this area, and then they can lay in bed and watch TV and keep us all night, up all night giggling. Next, we have Honey's favorite spot, 
which is the recliners. She likes to recline and, and have her um, some nice cool water while we watch some TV. Instead of having the, the dinette or the booths in, in a camper, we have um, table and chairs. One of the upgrades that I have made personally is curtains. I made all the curtains that are inside of our, our RV. Um, I just feel like it gives it a more homey touch and of course it's personalized to, to my taste. Our front door um, is very nice because it has a full panel of glass that we can open and close and it has a screen window here um, and it's it's clear so that I can see out but it's tinted so people don't really see in and then it, ha it has a blind also. This map I found um, at one of the craft stores and we um, I just put it up here with command strips and then we have these little dots that we put on to um, track where we've been. This bathroom is great because we have this giant shower. We love this shower because it's big enough for two people. Um, it has a seat in it and it really allows you a lot of a lot of room. Thomas has upgraded the shower head which is one of our favorite things. The shower is amazing. I know it looks a little complicated but it's great. Thomas recently installed a Max Air fan in the bathroom. So now that makes two. We have one in the kitchen and one in the bathroom. So when we don't run our air, we can create a nice, nice movement through the, through the camper with the Max Air fan. We have a residential king size mattress. It is a little heavy, but that's okay. It makes sleeping so much better. The mattresses that come with your RV, uh, I don't really think that they're meant to sleep on. So we have some great space in here. We have this dresser um, that is that has a couple drawers in it. That's great. That's usually my space. So with our with our bed being an east west bed, it allows us to have a larger closet space. So we have this very nice large area um, with plenty of storage for me to take all of my clothes. So we also have a washer and dryer in here, and I will tell you that I fought this for a long time, but um, now that it's here, I love it and don't know how I lived without it, especially during the pandemic when um, you're at campgrounds and the common facilities are closed, which include the restrooms, showers, and the laundry facilities. So this allows us to remain quarantined and do our own thing. We have a lot of storage underneath the bed, but it's kind of hard to access, well, at least for me, um, because the residential mattress is quite heavy. So Thomas added these hydraulic arms. So with a quick touch of the button, it can be open or closed. And I love it. And a beautiful, beautiful bedroom. Thanks to my beautiful, beautiful wife. The 20 inch shoreline is attached to a, a small automatic transfer switch. So when I plug it in, it powers that outlet. Uh, so it becomes a separate circuit from the camper. Uh, that way we can run the air conditioner and the Instapod or the hair dryer. So. Well, that concludes our tour of our RV. Thanks for joining us. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, we are Home on the Hitch. Please uh, subscribe on YouTube. Uh, also, we have a website is www.homeonthehitch.com. Uh, there's a link there that you can subscribe directly. Uh, as well, sign up for our email list, uh, get blog updates, uh, and visit our store and get some Home on the Hitch merch. It's about making the memories for us. Uh, we have a trip coming up in September where we will be traveling up the coast, uh, up the East Coast. Super excited about that. We are super excited. Super excited. Hopefully we'll get to um, see some family and friends along the way. We will be going to Maine. I've never been to Maine. I've been to Maine, it's beautiful. I've never been to Maine. I love so. lobster. Yeah, it's gonna it's be good. good. Uh, we'll help you follow along and again, subscribe. Home on the Hitch on YouTube, and our website is www.homeonthehitch.com. Hope to see you soon. Bye.